Dan Radio Style, hope everybody out there is doing fantastic. I remember when. Very, very powerful technique, especially for those of you that are having a harder time with the imaginal work, right? Trying to imagine from that place, right? Trying to act as if we already have it. Some people have a hard time struggling with that because you don't necessarily know what it's like, or maybe you have a hard time kind of getting that feeling that's supposed to come along with it. This is kind of another way to go about it. Now, I'm not guaranteeing that, that if you're having a hard time doing the other, that this is definitely going to uh, be easier for you. But it is a different slant on kind of the same sort of basic mechanics. I remember when is when you look at a situation and you think about it. You think basically you take your current situation. So you're trying to manifest, say, uh, you're trying to man manifest a relationship, for example. I remember when I was single. I remember when I was not able to go out with you on Friday nights. I remember when I didn't wake up next to you. I remember when I had a place and I'd look over in the morning and I would expect to see you, but you weren't there. I remember when we still hadn't chosen what the name of our first child's going to be. I remember when we were uh, going and picking out our house together. I remember when we went on our first date to the movies and we saw that wonderful movie. What you're doing is you're taking your current situation, if you will, and sort of making it the past. It's a way of kind of creating this distance from where you are at this moment and sort of pushing your thoughts into the place where you've already got that which you seek. So I gave some examples for relationships. What about a job? I remember when I struggled month to month to make, my, to make ends meet. I remember when I wasn't working at that copyright place, or I remember when I was working at that job only making $12 an hour. Uh, I remember when I first got hired at that company where I got that huge bump in pay. I remember shopping for my car. I remember shopping for my boat. I remember picking out the color. I remember coming up with the name of my boat. The Jessica, or I don't know, whatever, right? I remember when as a way of kind of pushing it. Again, remembering what you're doing currently, but doing it as if it's the past. And what that does, one important part, subconscious mind, when it comes to memories, when it comes to memories, and when it comes to imagining, you literally use the exact same part of your brain. So memories and imagination uses the same part of the brain. Those little images that get implanted in there, the brain doesn't really know the difference. It doesn't know if it's a memory. It doesn't know if it's a, an, an imaginal thing. It doesn't know. It treats them the same. So when you use this process, you're using that imagining aspect of your brain and you're creating these connection points from your current reality to the reality that you're manifesting. You're creating that reality and it's helping you do the mental work to see it, to envision it, to start to break apart what's my current reality and what separates it from what I'd like to experience. It forces you to get in and start to really look at it. We talk about trying to imagine, right? That's what you're doing. You're use, using your imaginal skills to break apart your current reality into things that you can basically remember as past components of your life, meaning things that you may not have right now. Like, I don't have a girlfriend right now, maybe, if you're trying to manifest love, for example, and you say, I remember when I didn't have a girlfriend. I remember when we first met. I remember when we went on our first date. You start to create that situation in the past, you don't necessarily have to get into the huge um, imaginal scenes of imagining that first date per se. It's the fact that you're forcing yourself to phrase it in, this, in the past tense. You're taking your current and forcing it into the past. That's a very, very awesome thing. And I remember what you think, what you say, what you do, well, you're saying it. You're speaking it. You're thinking it. You're using very profound, powerful aspects of the imaginal process, or the creative process, or the manifesting process, you're using very powerful tools that help assist in that whole movement. So remembering what things were is the same thing as imagining out. 
time really is irrelevant, right? So whether I push this event out or if I take my current event and push the change to the past, meaning I remember when we first met, even though maybe right now I haven't met yet. But by saying I remember when we first met, again, you create that connection point from your now to that moment where you first meet. And by putting it in the past, it tricks the brain a little bit. That part of our mind, remember, that thinks it's, a, 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 it's either an image or it's a memory. It's the same thing. It's the same thing. You're tricking that part of the brain to go, oh, no, I got a memory there. I, got, I, I remember when. I remember we did that. It's a memory. So one, some of the things this helps us do from a mechanic standpoint, it helps us to imagine. It helps us to use that very important part that some of us maybe aren't as good at. Remember when we were all children and you could pretend and imagine all day long, you'd get in with, a, with your friends and you'd play house or you know, you'd grab the neighbor kid and he'd suddenly become the husband and he didn't necessarily want to, but then again, he didn't not want to, right? But whatever, that imagining process, imagining like we were children again, because it was very natural then and it was very real when we made believe. And here as adults, so many of us have forgotten that whole connection. Helps us focus on what we're trying to desire. Again, it helps put that energy towards what you'd like to experience. Focus-based universe, right? It's what we frequently talk about. What you focus on is what you create more of. So by focusing on the positive things that you would like to experience, so many of us maybe get bogged down in the, but I'm not with them yet, or I don't have them yet. Well, simply take that concept and turn that into a, I remember when I met him. I remember when I didn't have him. I remember when I woke up and the bed was empty next to me. And by doing that again, you create that imaginal scene and it kind of helps you think about it in detail. It helps you break down the pieces. It helps you start to think about what are the things that I'm really bummed I don't currently have right now? What are the things that I feel like I'm missing right now that I don't want to be missing right now? It's those details. And when we imagine that's what you're trying to do is you're trying to find the details. You're trying to look for the individual components of this, re this reality that you're creating and sort of build those little details together, like playing with Legos or building blocks. You put one block, then another block, then another block, and eventually you've got a finished building or finished structure. This kind of helps us live from that place, that whole uh, acting as if or living in the end or all those kinds of concepts do start to happen here because, again, you're forcing yourself into, uh, you're separating yourself basically from your now uh, to your future, but you're doing it in such a way that you're actually shifting your now to the past and making your now more of having what it is that you seek already, which, again, remember when you imagine what it is, Neville Goddard talks about it, the second that you can see it clear, it's real. So it helps you create that sort of bridge that it's real right now. And I remember when I didn't have it. I remember when that wasn't the case. And probably one of the more important things, certainly for a lot of us, this will help improve your imagining skills. Your skill set will get better. You will get better as you practice imagining. As you do this more and more, you will get better and better at it. I remember when I wasn't that good at imagining. Hopefully this makes a difference. Uh, sorry I got this video out a little late today. If you can, please subscribe. Make sure you click that little subscribe button or the little picture of my face at the end of the video. And if you uh, choose the little bell icon so you can make those uh, notifications happen whenever I put out a new video. Thanks so much for joining me. We'll be doing some more great videos coming up tomorrow. Thanks.